Okay, day 227. Uh, big one is I still need to respond to some comments. Seems like people have actually been leaving comments on these things, so that's surprising. Uh, worked out this morning, got in on the, the bike, and I actually uh, did my arms today. I'm going to uh, switch back to doing aerobics and weightlifting daily instead of like um, doing them, you know, boop, boop, boop. Just do that every day, uh, five, six days a week, and then have a day of stretching so I can say I've worked out every day. Uh, as far as crap going on, Spanish tonight. I went over some YouTube stuff, so technically, and since I've been studying for it, I've done everything today. Uh, I actually recorded uh, four full YouTube videos today. And that, I'm going to talk about that a little bit today, hopefully. And I did um, my military uh, video and my TikTok. My military video was about um, homeless vets and everything because there are about a thousand homeless vets here in the Las Vegas area. Uh, yeah. Other uh, YouTube videos, some were SEO to what I needed. And some I did it today. Did it. Uh, some I did today because, I mean, they just really spoke to me because after conversation I was having this morning uh, with an agent because one of my listings isn't moving, hers isn't even the same neighborhood, and nothing's been moving in that neighborhood. So here's, uh, she was like, maybe it's the solar. Maybe nobody's buying the house because of the solar. I was like, damn it, I have solar too. So those solar sales people, They've gone in, they've screwed a lot of people up. Uh, it does not raise the price of your house. It can actually decrease it and make it difficult to sell, especially in the environment we're in now. I mean, three, four months ago, yeah, because everyone was desperate to get a house, but now they're not. So it is a severe detriment. So a lot of people have been outright screwed by these solar companies. Uh, next, uh, getting into crap I've been doing. Uh, I'm not going to do a go down there and do a video on it but uh got uh the, the um x tool d1 pro uh got it all working had an interesting little thing i tried to uh do the if you're into it do the framing so i can see where stuff was at and um wouldn't frame so i kept looking through the book and everything and i went to uh the users group and somebody mentioned something about the sd card so in the little toolkit that came with it there was an sd card uh and nowhere in the instructions. I got to go back again. Maybe I missed something. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I had to go, like, search like crazy. Because I looked through the instructions at every picture. And this pic this thing was not there. There's this little bit SD card slot on the um, motherboard. That's, like, hiding between the rails. You got to, like, do all this stuff. And I'm like, damn. Well, anyway, that fixed it. Uh, still got to get used to a few things. Uh had an accident yesterday where I was trying to uh, do a business card thing, a metal business card. And, you know, I didn't aim it right because it looked like I was aiming it because it was showing it, uh, like a little reflection of a light, but it wasn't the crosshair. I thought it was the crosshair. I ended up burning the uh, word that I was trying to put on the business card into the carpet. So, yeah, uh, my plan of getting the D one pro and getting the extension rails, which I'm still waiting for them to come, uh, to make, uh, <laughs> uh, like welcome mats for, uh, people. Yeah, that's going to work. It's going to work well because it definitely burned the carpet. I could smell it. It's like, what is this smell? Got the, uh, RA2 pro hooked up to it. Now I haven't put out the other stuff like the Chuck and all that jazz. I was just trying to see if it would work. It worked, no issues. Biggest thing I'm seeing, uh, I think I talked about this yesterday, I don't know. I don't know how this is universal because two of the ones I have, because I can't check the tour because I gave it away, that that connection doesn't look standard to me because the little extra things they came with, and it's like, this is what you're supposed to use for all others. I'm like, they said this thing is universal and the others I have, I got two separate others where it's a USB. I'm like, you know, WTF, what am I supposed to do on this? So, uh, and then they go, well, if the uh, laser cutter is blah, 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 blah. I'm like, dang, you should have gave a list. 
it's kind of like how that M3 uh, from Commercial Carve, you know, they said that the uh, red laser, aka uh, fiber laser, was supposed to be able to, you know, supposed to be universal. Bullshit. Because if it was, I'd be mad because, you know, I paid for that when I got all these lasers around here. So I don't know what to do because I would have just sold that laser to somebody because I'm already figuring about giving away um, the Wayne Lux L3. That thing, you know, only worked an hour because of a bad upgrade. And anybody who followed the instructions they gave you was brick their damn machine. But I don't see them working to fix their issue. Like I said, I've emailed and they haven't done crap. But then again, I could have used the email back. Uh, so another little bit of Amazon rant. Uh, remember I was talking about the dog spraying uh, diarrhea all over the place? And it was stanky. So my wife wants to get him some like diarrhea medicine that she saw or something. So it's like, oh, it's at Amazon. I, you know, I got to wait and all this stuff. But look, it's supposed to be one hour delivery on this particular medication. As long as you put $25 in your cart. So I go and add some uh, silver filament because I was looking, thinking about having some silver filament. It's like perfect time. Got to get the medication. Got to bump it up to 25, past 25 bucks. The medication was $12.99. Okay, so uh, it didn't show it was going to be delivered within you know, like the next couple of hours. It showed it was going to be delivered after 5 p.m. Okay, whatever. About 8 p.m., I get a uh, note from Amazon starting on my little a device there i don't want to say it that it's been delayed then i get an email that it's going to be delivered this morning so i could have had it just delivered today anyway and not add it crap to my cart to make sure i had it this stuff is like i'm saying because you know i don't want to go running around trying to find doggy medication i don't even know where the hell doggy medication is do they carry it at walmart I don't know, but it was easy, you know, and that's, that's what Walmart's done. They've just spoiled us on stuff, and now they can be just the biggest idiots on the earth, you know, sending used as hell items for new items. You know, you buy $800 cappuccino or espresso machine, and you get a damn used item. Sent, uh, oh yeah, like, uh, you know, talking about that filament. Order 10 kilos of filament, and this is what they send. By the way... Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do a plug for this J.O. I ain't being paid crap. Uh, it was actually pretty good. I liked it. Uh, I've already printed several items on it. Uh, I've had zero issues with this J.O. Uh, it's PLA Plus. So I don't know if it's just J.O. or PLA Plus. It's done some great prints. Uh, I figured of all the 10, the one I would least likely to use and, and actually blew me away. They did not have a color I would actually like to have done this project and I'm about to show you. Uh, I figured purple was going to be the least likely color, so I'm just screwing around with purple right now because who cares? I can't think of a project I'd use purple on. But what I wanted was brown. And brown is not one of the 10 colors, so I may have to buy brown separately sometime in the future, but maybe, maybe not. Uh, what I did, I don't know if you know what these are. If you've seen the movie The Fifth Element, these are the stones. You know, the four elements, and then uh, Mila Jovovich, Jovovich, whatever. Uh, she was the fifth element. Anyway, uh, they're, they're actually not this size. Uh, the bill volume was so big, one of these things was like a foot and a half tall. So I just scaled them down just to see what they would look like printed. Printed beautifully. I mean, damn. Beautifully. Beautiful prints. I love it. Uh, yeah. Which then gets to, I, I, I don't know. Because after I scaled uh, them down, because like this, I mean, about this should about be the height of them. So I guess that's because they're scaled down 50%. But, you know, of course, bigger and everything else. So, I don't know. Uh, this took 200 grams. And that's another reason I did it. Uh, as I keep learning stuff, it's like, oh, that's where it shows you the amount of material used. Yeah, 200 grams is a bit so i don't want to just waste that because that's 20 percent of a roll on something i may use so for experimenting it'll be purple and then i'll find another one and see if i can find some cheap ass um filament someplace just to screw around with as i kind of learn 
what I'm doing. Because like I said, all the other uh, 3D printers I've had in the past, um, I haven't had luck. I never could get anything to print right with the um, Creality uh, 3 Pro. I never could get anything. I mean, I got some things to print with the um, uh, Magician X, but it didn't do what I wanted. Because I would, like, let's say if I printed this, I'd print like, um, well, I've talked about this, this frog. I never, ever got this frog to print on the uh, Mat Magician X. Yet all the uh, stuff that came on the test files, they all printed fine. Uh, hold on. Where is it? Yeah, this benchy here. No, it, well, actually, I think this benchy is not on the file. I just, uh, so this benchy worked, I think. I can't remember if it was on the, uh, the files that came with it or not. I'd have to see. Could have been there. Because everybody seems to include a benchy. Because if you use the uh, benchy that's built into the uh, bamboo, I mean, that's the one you can print in 12 minutes or whatever. Or however minutes they say it can be when you have it on ludicrous speed. Uh, if you put a regular file, because I just did it for grins and giggles, uh, no, nah, it's half an hour. But still, that's a lot less than an hour and a half. So I'll give them that. Uh, no matter what, uh, everything prints nice on it. I've been very impressed. Uh, I, sh I don't think I did a video on it. Um, I did the print in place lightsaber. Uh, that thing came out beautiful this time. When I had it with the PETG, it broke when I uh, accidentally dropped it, but this one was just solid. I don't know, man, it's, a P it's on PETG Plus, but I was very impressed with it. Matter of fact, I saw another lightsaber. I'm thinking about it. Um, it's in pieces and parts. It's a Sith lightsaber. And um, that way I can print the blade separately in red and then have it in whatever color, the um, hilt in whatever color, and then phew, look kind of cool. Uh, so I've also been doing, what's all this crap? I had to clean my damn desk off. Man, where is it? Oh man. What do I do with those things? I can't believe it. I mean, it's gotta be here. Shoot. Okay, uh, I'll explain it. I found out you can do these uh, kit card things. Oh, no. Nope. And the kit cards are, I think I took it out of the room now I think about it. Oh, I just had it. Well, here it is. So you can do these things here. Uh, so, you know, you punch these out and you put them together. So this is, uh, oops, upside down. So this is a land speeder from uh, the original Star Wars. So that's kind of cool. So I downloaded a whole bunch of these off of Thingiverse and we have this annual carnival at the office and anybody who has an office and I have an office, I go into like twice a month. You know, I'm sitting there paying all this damn money for it. Uh, you know, they want us to open our offices and have like carnival games and crap. Last year, what I did is, where is it at? Oh, it's over there, I can't grab it. Or I could, but I'm not gonna. Uh, I actually brought in my um, Oculus and I did roller coaster rides. Man, kids enjoyed that. The biggest problem I had was I didn't know they're gonna have one of these um, hair painting things where they put this the stuff in the kids' hair. Man, it got over every damn thing. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that this year because it took forever to try to clean those damn things out with them damn kids. I shouldn't say damn kids, whatever. Uh, but this year, what I'm probably gonna do is create something and I'm gonna print these out. I can do three or four at a time and I don't know, make something this squat may work fine on the Magician X and Mingda Magician X. And I have this other one um, that's supposed to be coming in the IDEX printer. It's a large build, so I'll probably fit six or eight on there. And a couple of days prior, I'm just gonna start cranking these suckers out, uh, putting the instructions for an installation back in and uh, give them out, make the kids all happy and everything then maybe even do what I planned last year because I was going to do like a candy drop. I have uh, a thing on my drone where it's activated by the light. So if you turn on the light, it actually like spins so it'll drop a package and I can do packages to drop. I'm just a big ass nerd. So anywho, got that going and uh, yeah. 
let's go see what we got to get done next. Oh, you know what? Damn. This is supposed to be an unboxing day, and I forgot to unbox because I got to unbox all that bullshit down the stairs. Like, like I said, I got piles of it. Uh, this came a couple of days ago. It's called Thermonex. And I was hoping this was would arrive, but like all Kickstarters, with the exception of Bamboo, it arrived on time. And the Magnum Magician X arrived on time too. Everything else is months late. Because as you know, it's hot as balls here in Las Vegas. And uh, <clears throat> this is my first time opening it. So what the Thermal Next is, is you know like, uh, I guess there's a gland, or I don't know, not, I'm not a gland, but whatever. Uh, Cause you see people like take a wet towel and put it around their necks in the summertime. So this is a system where you put it, hmm, too hmm. uh, so you put it around your neck and it's, uh, you charge it up and all this jazz and it's supposed to keep you like cool because it's cooling the back of your neck and everything. So I'd hope to get this for the summers in Las Vegas, but it, like I said, it just arrived literally like yesterday. No, wait a minute, yesterday was Sunday. So Saturday, it arrived Saturday. As you can see, we're almost at the end of the damn summer. So maybe I can get a, a month out of this or something. Put that on. These are the actual things here. And I got a case and all this jazz. I think I got an extra one too. I think I got a deluxe version. Yeah. So this is kind of what they're like. So somehow you charge these up, which I gotta go figure out. So maybe I'll do a separate video on that because I don't wanna keep you too long. And take what you get here and put it around your neck and boom, you're good to go. And supposedly, I've actually tried things like this in the past using different things. Uh, I don't know if it really even worked for me. Try it one with the Peltier effect and crap. But when you're out showing houses, at 115 degrees, you need something. So anyway, I'm going to uh, call that uh, end for the day. So you got the J.O. review there. Freaking awesome. Uh, we'll find out about the Thermonex. Amazon pissed me off again because I wanted the uh, dog to stop spraying last night. Because I saw yesterday my wife's like trying to clean off the concrete where he sprayed. And it's like, where's it going to go? I mean, you got to like maneuver it to get to the grass and crap, you know, because he can't control himself. Damn, should have found some doggy medicine someplace else. I'm actually pissed because I don't know if it's a shot they gave him or something at the vets on Saturday, but it wasn't good. Uh, I can't think of anything else going on. Call it quits for the day and I'm going to get logged in so I can answer some of those uh, stuff, things that I've seen people have been uh, making comments on. Uh, sometimes I just don't kind of get to them because half of them seem to be go to this website to get hot horny chicks and shit, you know. <sighs> I'll just go in later and just delete the hot horny chicks. Well, you shouldn't delete hot horny chicks, but they don't exist. It's scam.